Hello everyone and welcome to another game I played on PTCGO. As you can see, um, both my opponent and my avatars are completely uh, stripped of any details and a lot of clothing as well. I'm not sure why that's happening, but uh, the new update to PTCGO seems to be particularly graphics heavy and I'm not a huge fan. Packs take a lot longer to open and that's not good. So as you can probably tell, I'm playing an Evil Tall deck, Evil Tall Garbodor to be specific. I'm going to lead off with an Evil Tall, the non ex kind. I will Professor's Letter for two Dark Energies, Ultra Ball away one of them, and get or, or two of them, sorry, and get myself an Evil Tall EX, and put it on the bench, and I will just end my turn here. I can't really call risk because it won't really get me much. My opponent, on the other hand, is playing a fairy deck, so this is the last thing I want to see particularly, just because fairies do, by and large, resist dark Pokemon. So he's going to play a fan club off the bat, and he has one Xerneas in the active and one on the bench, both an Onyx kind. And he's actually going to go for two Flogress, or Flogress EX, and, go and use Geomancy to bring uh, energy from the deck onto the bench. He's going to attach one to each of the Flowgrass he just brought out. So Flowgrass will do more damage uh, with the number of fairy Pokemon that are on your opponent's side of the field. Also grass Pokemon, I believe, are included in that equation. I'm going to attach a Dark Energy onto my Benched Evil Tall, or I believe actually a DCE. Uh, Colress, and then use Oblivion Wing for only 10, attaching a Dark Energy from my discard pile onto my benched Evil Tall EX. So now that that's powered up, uh, both me and my opponent are basically using our earlier turns to power up our Pokemon. He's going to use a VS Seeker here, bring, bringing back Pokemon Fan Club from the discard pile. This will allow him to get two more fairy Pokemon from his deck. And this is time it'll be a Spritzy and a Xerneas EX. So Spritzy will be critical here to allow him to move energy around and probably max potion everything in, um, on his side of the field that takes damage or substantial damage. And then he'll use Geomancy yet again. I get another uh, Evil Tall, the non EX kind, and I will Juniper my hand away. So I actually get a few decent things here, but unfortunately no way of getting a Trubbish in play. I do want to get Garbodor out just to turn off abilities as soon as I can. I have Darkrai which will give me Free Retreat, but more importantly than having Free Retreat is turning off Fairy Transfer and preventing my opponent from moving energy around and healing it off with Max Potion. So I do use Oblivion Wing and attach another energy onto Evil Tall. Now I have uh, three energy, one of those being a DCE on it. And my opponent here can Geomancy again, or if he gets um, a Fairy Garden, he could have retreated for free, but he chooses to Geomancy, which is probably the right play, bringing up one energy onto a Flowgrass and another energy onto Xerneas EX. So now I have a decision to make here. I think I'm going to start attacking. I will retreat into Evil Tall EX and use Lysander to bring up Spritzy, since Aromatisse will be quite annoying if he gets that into play. And I'll use a repeat ball first to get a second Xerneas EX on the bench. And then I will hit with Y-Cyclone, moving that DCE from the active Evil Tall onto the benched Evil Tall EX. I figure that's the best play here. It gets a knockout, and it conserves energy in case my opponent can get the knockout here. So he's going to send up a Flowgrass EX. He can do, I believe, 100 damage here. Um, and he benches another Spritzy, so that brings it up to, I believe, 120. He will attach another Fairy Energy onto Xerneas and hit me for 120. So now, into my turn, I'm going to attach a Muscle Band onto my active Evil Tall and a Dark Energy onto it as well. And here I have a choice. I can play N or Juniper and I go for N. I don't get anything all that helpful but I do get this Hypnotoxic Laser. I'm missing the Veerbank City Gym. And uh, I don't get the Sleep which is also unfortunate. But here I figure I will Y-Cyclone again 
with uh, muscle band and bringing the damage back up to 90 to resistance and it will move an energy off of the active onto the bench seeing how I will lose the active anyway and I wouldn't get the knockout otherwise I figure that's the best move now my opponent evolves into a Romatis and he's going to start fairy transferring off of the active flow grass and he will max potion the damage way so that's quite annoying and we'll move energy back up to it so all that damage I've done is for not and now he's going to chorus for nine cards and then he's going to play a startling megaphone getting rid of two of my muscle bands that are in play and finally a fairy garden goes down so definitely a huge turn for my opponent he will retreat now into the non poisoned flow grass and take the knockout so now he's up in the prize lead since I've only taken one prize but I don't think I'm out of it quite yet here I have a decision to make I'm going to choose to promote the active or make the active the evil tall EX with energy on it um, I'm going to attach another dark energy onto it and use a chorus here netting me eight cards I do manage to get a Veerbank City Gym, so we'll knock out his Fairy Garden and hopefully be able to take advantage of that. I also get an Ultra Ball. I will get rid of an N and a Float Stone, bringing myself a Trubbish from the deck. I'll put it down, play a Hypnotoxic Laser. Once again, I get a Tails on the Poison. And here I have a choice to make again. Do I Y Cyclone or Evil Ball? And here I'm going to decide to be a little bit more aggressive and go for Evil Ball and hit for 120. In between turns, the poison will do 30 damage. So I'm really hoping my opponent doesn't have another Fairy Garden he can put into play. He is moving energy around with Aromatis, so this tells me he does have at least a Max Potion, which we do see come into play. But I'm just really hoping the Fairy Garden doesn't go down, and he's forced to attack with his active so I can take a knockout on the following turn. So we see the energy go back onto Flowgress. And I really hope it, we just see an attack. Uh, fairy energy goes down onto Xerneas EX, or the non EX kind. And we just see a Bright Garden for 120. So I'm happy with that. And now I can also evolve into Garbodor and put down a Floatstone and then play a Juniper to refresh my hand was debating putting down a float stone on something else but I decided against it because I would want the option to use a muscle band instead I get another evil tall EX and I will bench that and I have a DCE which I put on that evil tall so now here I can once again attack with the active evil tall using Y Cyclone or evil ball if I use Evil Ball, I will get the knockout due to poison, but that does leave, leave me with insufficient energy to attack next turn. And while I have a Juniper in hand, I don't have a item-based way of retrieving energy in this deck, so I'm actually going to play it a little bit conservatively and just use Y Cyclone, moving a Dark Energy on my active Evil Tall EX onto a benched Evil Tall EX. So it might have been a huge misplay there, but let's just see how it plays out. Going into my opponent's turn, he's taking quite a bit here, so he may be deciding whether or not to attack with the active and lose it on the next turn in order to get the knockout on this evil tall EX, which I kind of am leaving up there as a sacrifice. But thanks to Garbodor, he doesn't have a way of moving energy around and healing off the uh, active or retreating it thanks to Fairy Garden not being in play as well but he will Lysander up my Garbodor EX and knock it out with the active. And in between turns, he will fortunately succumb to poison, so that's great for me. He gets one prize and I get two, and I will promote my Evil Tall EX. And off my prizes, I do get a laser, which will be helpful here. My opponent sends up a non-EX Xerneas. Here I'm debating what to do exactly. Abilities are back in play, so that will be annoying, uh, but I do have a VS Seeker which can also help me get rid of Aromatis. So here I can use Lysander, bring up Xerneas instead of Aromatis, 
because I can actually get a bigger knockout here. So we'll use a hypnotoxic laser. I get a tails, and I'll attach a muscle band onto the active, and I can actually hit with evil ball here for 160, and in between turns, Xerneas succumbs to poison. I figured that was the better play just because Xerneas had more energy than anything on his side of the field. Now he decides to promote Flowgress. He can hit me here, um, but he needs more fairy Pokemon in play to do sizable damage. He puts down a Xerneas. Now he can hit me for 100, and he switches out my stadium for a fairy garden, and he'll hit me for 100. Now going into my turn, I'm actually going to Ultra Ball, getting rid of a Darkrai and Sardinaling Megaphone to bring up Mewtwo. So Mewtwo has the advantage of not being affected by resistance. So i uh, put it down and attach a DCE onto it. And then I can move energy using Y Cyclone onto that bench Mewtwo, preparing it for an attack. So Y Cyclone for 90, not close enough for the knockout. But I have a Mewtwo in the wings waiting to come in and hopefully take the win for me. My opponent is now going to use Fairy Transfer and moving all the energy off of Flowgress and probably we will see a Max Potion. And we do. So that's really annoying. And the energy is going to go back onto Flowgress. And we'll see a Fairy Garden undoubtedly here for the knockout and a tie on the prize race or a Bright Garden, I apologize, Mix, mixed up those names. So here I am debating what to send up here. I figure Mewtwo is the best bet, but I don't know if I can actually get the knockout. With the cards in hand, I actually can't. I would have to use that Juniper and Gamble that I have another DCE left in my deck, which I actually don't think I do. We'll attach a dark energy, and here is the actual misplay that occurs. So I X ball for 140, which when I should have used that VS Seeker, I just drew. I seemingly did not notice, I just drew it, and brought up a Lysander to bring up anything else on his bench um, and try to take it the knockout. So I could have taken the knockout on his bench Xerneas for the win here. So a huge misplay, giving my opponent a huge opening here to take the win but let's see if he can capitalize on that. If not, hopefully I can switch this game around and, and take the win still. So now my opponent is going to take a while here to plan his attack. He really can't stay with the active Pokemon, so we see him Skyla. The question is, does he run another Max Potion? Or does he have a switching card? Or is he going for an Ultra Ball, potentially? So he's actually going for an escape rope. So this is a fairly clever play. I can only send up one thing that will be not in danger of being knocked out, and that is my Dark Rai EX, which has 180 HP, a damage output that he shouldn't be able to hit. So I send up Dark Rai. He sends up Xerneas, the non-EX variety. And the question is, will he just retreat with Fairy Garden and attack with something else? He attaches a muscle band, and retreats into Flowgrass, and here he can hit me for 120 with Bright Garden. That is short of the knockout for. And then that does leave me with the potential of taking the win. But first, we see an Ultra Ball actually, so he can hit me for more if he gets a Fairy Pokemon, which he does. And now we'll actually see Fairy uh, Bright Garden do 140 damage. So I need to find one thing that can save me here. I will get a Veerbank City Gym, and I need a Dark Energy. We'll play that Starling Megaphone just in case. And I do thankfully get the Dark Energy and a way to win. So my opponent here basically saying that he messed up his last play. At least I think that that's what he's trying to tell me. He'll attach a Dark Energy onto Dark Rai, giving it free retreat, and I can hit for X-Ball with 140 damage and take the win. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, despite the misplays on my behalf.